good for industrial application or also for building automation and uh, home automation. It can be used, for instance, to read uh, an energy meter and to monitor the energy consumption of your house. Hey, it's Eamon from IP Exchange at Make Fair Rome 2023, the end of the first day. Uh, we're at the Arduino booth. I'm talking to Adriano um, about the Opta, which is one of their pro range products. So, um, Adriano, um, tell us a bit more about the Opta and this demonstration you've got here, with which looks like with some These with ones, some bugs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Opta is a. Uh a product that we have presented this year in the market and it is an example of what we call solutions. So Arduino is very well known for electronic boards historically, but this is a finished product. So something that you can use directly uh, without any hardware addition. So you can directly install in a wall inside a cabinet because it has a DIN rail uh, guide installation. And it is good for industrial application or also for building automation and uh, home automation. So it can be used, for instance, to read uh, uh, an energy meter and to monitor the energy consumption of your house, to open or close doors, windows or lights, turn on lights. And here we have an example, if you want. We have uh, a sim a, a, a quick simulation about what a building automation could be okay. or can be with Opta. So we have one Opta here, it's like this one, mm. and uh, this Opta is uh, reading something like uh, the request of a light on, light off, uh, turning on and off a fan, locking or not a door, like a small door we have here. Okay. This, is, this is locked. Nice. Today, now <laughs> it is not locked, <laughs> and and this is all transmitted to the cloud. So you can bring this uh, on a dashboard or also on your mobile phone to read the status of what's happening. The device is also reading sensors. In this case, uh, temperature, pressure, humidity, and light, and so it can also manage uh, your uh, climate. Uh, Oh, uh, control system inside the, inside the device. It's a, a fully certified product, so we want to be really industrial grade with mm. this product, and uh, it is uh, reliable for uh, uh, US, for instance, because there is the UL certification, FCC, because it has Wi Fi inside, so also the radio is fully certified, and there is uh, clearly also CE for Europe. Excellent. Um... So that's the, um, the Arduino Opta. Uh, are you happy to explain a little bit of what's going on here? Yeah, sure. This is ah, th this I thought it might be the Nikola Vision. Yeah, okay. sure. These are other examples mm. of uh, machine learning uh, applications. So in this case, we applied vision mm -hmm. and we take pictures of uh, different type of insects inside a sort of trap mm -hmm. to, monitoring, to monitor possible uh, Pest uh, uh, in the wine yards. Excellent. So you can check uh, if there are, and uh, you can also count how many of them are mm -hmm. there, and then you can take action. So maybe clean up uh, or, uh, or 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 make special treatments on the on the on the garden or on the on the plants. And this is done with a Nikla Vision, which mm -hmm. is a very small board with a camera, mm -hmm. and uh, we train an algorithm to recognize this, the, the specific shape of this kind of insects. So uh, it takes picture every second and it decides if it is a good one or a bad one, it counts. You can make statistics on this and you can support uh, the, 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 the action without maybe spreading around uh, uh, chemicals uh, when you don't need it. Cool, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's also to optimize uh, the the, the consumption of substances that you don't want to sure. to use it too much. I see from that this is also using your, the MKR WAN board as well for I guess for the yeah. Arduino cloud. Yeah, in this sure. case uh, you can do uh, connection to the cloud. Okay. Uh, with the Maker One 13 10, you can mm. connect uh, this uh, device via LoRa communication. Mm. So it's uh, a long range communication. Mm. Maybe uh, you can be far uh, one kilometer from this. Uh, and you have a, a gateway 
you can see maybe there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, on the oh, wall? Yes, yes. Up here. This gateway is collecting the information mm. from all the LoRa sensors mm. we have in this booth, in this moment. We don't have only the trap. We have also mm. other environmental sensors like this one. Cool. And, 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 this, is, and this is checking uh, humidity, temperature, pressure. And it can make averages, you can make statistics, and you can co collect all this information from remote. Cool. So, plenty of solutions here at Arduino. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Adriano. Thank and, you. And, uh, yeah, I haven't seen one of these uh, pointed out to me yet. So, great to see Laura being used at the show. I always feel kind of sad uh, after the end of a bunch of videos at one booth. And we did four in total with Arduino. We had the Maker one, the Educational one, the first Pro one, and this, this last Pro one. And it's always really cool to see the boards in person, especially those Nikola boards, because they're, they're so small. They're like less than 23 by 23 millimeters. They're ridiculously powerful. The Machine Vision one, I, I originally we weren't gonna talk about it in the demo, but I, I just wanted to know more about it looking at bugs and stuff. So, um, yeah, check out the full technical write-ups that I've done for every Arduino board that we've talked about and more to cover some of the makeup projects. If you've got commercial projects which need machine vision, voice recognition, connectivity with ESP32, and anything else, head to the board pages. We'll be glad to hook you up.